Hello, in this video, we're going to look at how to integrate the Universal Camera plugin in Unreal Engine and uh, yeah, how to integrate it with our character and then use functionalities like zoom and rotate to drag. So as usual, all the steps to achieve this are available on this blog post. So I'll link it in the description. And uh, yeah, let's probably begin just with a demo to see how it works uh, and see what it is that we're going to be achieving. So. I've connected it to my character over here so you can see it now I'm able to right click drag and rotate the camera so I'm also able to use the mouse wheel to scroll out and zoom out so this is the max and likewise a zoom back in and this is the min all right so this is also following my cam cam character so you can see that it's uh, got this smooth following to it as well so uh, yep yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at doing here so yeah let's get started so first what we'll do is we'll just make sure that the plugin is uh, enabled. So after installing it to your engine, you can uh, basically go into the plugins and make sure that it's enabled here. So if it's not enabled, you're not going to be able to create the things that you need. So uh, yeah, make sure it's enabled. And after doing so, you can right click and create a new blueprint class. And you should be able to find the universal camera uh, actor over here so go ahead and create one of those so that's what you see over here i called mine player camera blueprint and if you go inside it you don't really need to make any modifications to the blueprints here but what you do need to add is add the main camera component to the spring arm so you can see you, there's an add button there so find camera and you can add for instance either the camera or the cinematic camera so i just added the normal camera here okay so once you've done that you don't actually need to make any further modifications in here and we can go into our player character blueprint and start configuring it instead okay so what we have in the player character blueprint is well there's a lot of stuff so in order to keep things tidy just go ahead and create a new graph so you can see i've created a new graph called camera rotation but you know like maybe just call it camera control camera graph or something like that it's not a great name what i have here and what you'll first want to do is create a new custom event so for example custom event uh, give it a name and this will be our entry point into uh, this uh, graph basically right so we're going to connect this to the event begin play for the character so we'll connect that in a moment so one of the first things that you want to do is actually spawn uh, that player camera blueprint so in order to do that just do spawn uh, actor from class and then here just select the class uh, the class that you just created earlier so I called mine player ca camera uh, blueprint right so there it is uh, so that's how you can go ahead and spawn it uh, give it the transform so just get the uh, actor location and the target itself because we're currently in the player character blueprint and once you've spawned this uh, player camera uh, just promote it to a variable because we're going to be using it uh, in some later steps so uh, one of the first things that you'll want to do with the player camera uh, camera component is to set the view target with blend onto your player controller so this is what um, i guess uh, configures the player uh, controller with the camera right so uh, like before this it's actually disconnected so now you're saying to the player controller use this camera for uh, the view target right so once you've done that uh, you want to then tell the camera component to follow this uh, actor and so again the actor to follow is self because again we're inside the player character blueprint okay so for the next step we're actually going to be configuring the enhanced inputs uh, so let's have a look at those so perhaps um, before we jump into those uh, I'll just quickly show you that you used to have inputs um, on the engine before so you can see here uh, and these are actually becoming deprecated so you can see axis and action mappings are now deprecated please use enhanced input actions instead so that's what we're going to be looking at doing uh, and that's what we're going to be registering here so uh, let's find those so um, I've created a new folder to uh, handle them so uh, you can see let's just get rid of this thing so you can see inside here I can create a couple of things so when you right click go on to input there's some uh, input actions available here so create one of those so uh, I don't know like you can call it uh, input action pickup etc uh, so you can see the ones I've created are for uh, mouse move for right mouse uh, pressed and for zoom 
not great names by the way but you know um i think they're just trying to convey the point so uh inside those uh just basically the main thing that you need to do is specify the value type for this particular action so inside the mouse move uh this is literally uh the mouse coordinates i want to capture the 2d uh, location so the x and the y coordinates so that's why you can see it's axis 2d next uh we've got the right mouse pressed so again i either press it or i don't so this is a digital boolean uh next we have the zoom so this is the mouse wheel capturing so uh basically i want to know whether the mouse wheel is going forward or backwards and potentially the speed right so it's not just a one minus one it, it can be um, a positive or a negative value but it's only one dimensional okay so it's like an integer field basically uh okay cool so once you've um defined these uh, three uh, input actions we want to then map them so uh, for that you use this thing called input mapping context so under input you can see here input mapping context so once you've created that that's what this is uh, you want to then map those input actions to uh, actual events right so for example I select the input action zoom so in order to create them by the way uh, you can just click plus select the input action so like one of these and then define what triggers it okay so uh let's just delete that so you can see that the zoom is connected to the mouse wheel axis right so in order to zoom i want to move the wheel up and down right mouse pressed is connected to the right mouse button and the mouse move is connected to mouse x y 2d axis okay so once you've configured that click save and now we're able to uh, map the context to the character so uh, in order to do that so let's have a look enhanced input local so this is what we want to get so uh, get the enhanced input local player subsystem and uh, get the player controller so uh, that's how you can do that there actually this is not the right one Okay, so that's the right one. And uh, that's how you get this a subsystem. Okay, and with that subsystem, first we just make sure that it's valid. And then we add the mapping context, selecting the input mapping context that we've created. So mine is called uh, input mapping context player. So you can see uh, that it's available over here. Okay, uh, once you've done that, you've basically configured the enhanced input actions. So now we'll be able to start receiving the events for zoom in, for right mouse button and for moving the, the mouse, right? Before we do that, uh, I just wanted to set a couple more parameters on the camera component. So for example, I say, uh, set the minimum zoom to be 200 units, set the maximum zoom to 2000 units. And I also just want to enable the constraint for zoom maximum, right? Uh, so this is just some of the prep for the camera component. And after I've done that, I'm able to configure these uh, input actions. Okay, so basically what you can see here, um, so after I've mapped them, so after you've mapped them, you might need to compile them, uh, this uh, blueprint as well, but you should be able to see enhanced input action and uh, these uh, events over here, right? So for example, move. Okay, so with those, uh, you're able to then um, do some stuff, right? So for example, input action zoom, this gives us an action value, and this is the one dimensional uh, value from the mouse wheel. Okay, so it could be positive, it could be ne negative, depending on the direction. All we need to do is get the camera component, and there's a, a built in function to zoom in, and we just connect it. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward there. Next, uh, we've got the right mouse pressed. So again, this is just a, a digital Boolean, right? So basically when I start pressing the mouse, I'm gonna promote it to a variable, right mouse, a right mouse button pressed. And when I complete it, so I let go of that um, button, I'm just gonna disable that, okay? Uh, the next one is slightly more tricky, but it's still pretty straightforward. Uh, this is when I move my mouse, okay? So basically when I start moving my mouse, every time uh, this event happens, I basically check is the right mouse button pressed and if it is i want to rotate the camera 
around uh, or rotate your around the pivot okay and the pivot is actually the um character location right so basically uh we want to rotate the camera uh, around the actor right so that's that's really what we're going to be doing here so uh you get self you get the location and you provide that into the pivot and you only really do this whenever the right mouse button is pressed and uh, the actual value for the rotation, like how much do you rotate, you extract from the uh, mouse coordinates. So you can see that we got the 2D vector from uh, the action value. And then we just break that into the X and Y. This is basically the coordinates for your X and Y for your mouse. And this is uh, how we feed those in. Once you've done that, uh, it's basically complete, right? Because all we need to do now is just con connect that to uh, your event begin play. So all of the work that we've done in the camera rotation graph, you just want to connect that to event begin play. Uh, I also just make sure that this is not a proxy character, right? So I, I, this is the camera that I'm actually controlling. So I'm actually looking at it. Um, so I just do a quick check here, but for most cases, you just need to connect it to the event begin play and that's it. So yeah, hopefully all of that makes sense. Let me just give you a final demonstration here. So I'm able to, uh, right click drag. So you can see that if I'm just moving my mouse, nothing happens, but if I right click and drag, it's rotating my camera. I'm able to, uh, zoom out by, um, the mouse wheel and I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel again and you can see that there's a min and max for the zoom as well and it's following my character as expected okay so hopefully all of that makes sense and yeah best of luck thanks bye